Hi, I'm in Gloucester's class today, and we're going to be asking them a question. Who's excited? Yeah. What tops off a mommy's mummy? Ma <laughs> what tops off a mummy's ice cream sundae? Do you have the answer? No. Mm. <laughs> Whip scream. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> you get it? Good morning, Memorial. My name is Javier. And my name is Maddie. And this is your Spartan News for October 25th. Halloween, Halloween edition! Okay, Maddie, why are ghosts terrible liars? I don't know. You can see right through them. <laughs> <laughs> the quarter ends Friday. Make sure you're keeping up with your classes and getting help when you need it. My name is Mihika, my pronouns are she, her, hers, and I am one of the co-vice presidents of the Gender Equity Association. And I'm Emily, I use any pronouns. Across the globe, people of marginalized genders have been denied access to education. Um, Malala's Fund is an organization that works to make community-specific change. The Gender Equity Association is holding a fundraiser for Malala's Fund next week from Monday to Wednesday. We'll be selling buttons, pins, stickers, and tote bags before school in the A-Wing foyer. We hope to see you there. Let's get a look at the question of the week. I'm Alex. I'm Enrica. And today we're asking some Halloween themed questions. Mr. Frontier, what was your favorite childhood Halloween costume? I think I might have been Spider-Man like three years running, like age six through eight. A little bit of rep repetition, but um, you can't go wrong with Spider-Man. What's the most creative costume you've worn or seen? Tampon. I'm gonna have to go with the same thing. Probably. <laughs> What's the worst Halloween candy? Sour heads. Sour heads. Sour heads. What is the best scary movie? Uh, I think the best scary movie is uh, The Conjuring. Why is that? I don't know. It's just really good. Sour heads. Any reason why? Because what's the whole point of having sour heads if you have basically all chocolate? What's the best candy to give out? Not fruit snacks. What was your worst Halloween experience? Okay, so in third grade, the first time my parents let me trick or treat without them, so I went with a bunch of my friends. So, sour heads, if somebody's like giving somebody sour heads or something on a Halloween, there's no point of eating it because chocolate is way better than sour heads. Facts. Fair. I just speak facts. Hey, yeah. I what Halloween costume are you going to dress up as this year? A rock zombie. Went to Maple Bluff because like that's where the governor's mansion is and we heard that it had a bunch of uh, they gave out some good stuff. Then this guy offered me candy from his van and you know it's Halloween so normally I wouldn't normally I wouldn't like accept that but this time I did because it was Halloween so so I got in his van and um, he drove away. It took three months for um, me to finally get back home to my family. A lot of things happened those three months. I'm not gonna share that on Spartan News. But that was my worst Halloween experience. Okay, thank you for sharing. That's it for this week's questions. Have a nice week. <laughs> Let's take a look at the sports report. What up Spartans? For this week's sports report, I'm coming at you with the cross country team. You know, it's a little outdoor special. It's cold out, but that doesn't stop us. Here they come. So, Jake, who would you say is your favorite alumni from years previous? Oh uh, yeah, there are two standout guys in my mind. Uh, Dylan Anthony and Aiden Papard. Really great guys. Solid guys. Mm -hmm. Are they good runners? Fantastic. You know, Dylan Anthony is my rock. <laughs> Love to hear it. All right, 
Reese, who would you say is the cutest on the team? Uh, it's by far gotta be Thomas Bellsberg. <laughs> I don't know why. He's really good at holding the camera too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. What would you say is your favorite memory from this season? Oh, my favorite memory, it's gotta be Lake Farm. Perfect weather, 40s and rainy. You gotta yeah. love it. Running through the mud, I assume? Oh, yeah. Right through it. All right, Mick, what is your favorite course that you've been on this season? Uh, Midwest, 100%. It's a PR course, always. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh heck yeah. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. That's, that's what I like to hear. Now, there's a lot of speculation saying that distance boys are slow. I'm here to put that to the test. It's gonna be me versus them, and we're gonna race to Tommy down there. Right this pole. <laughs> it's cold. I wasn't that warmed up. They've had a long practice, you know. Maybe I'll come back when it's warmer out and give him a run for his money. Henry, give a speech. Give a speech. You know, we do strides for a reason. I'm sure Casey and Katie would be really proud of me right now. I kind of got dusted there, but that's because I'm trying to save the legs because we got a huge meet in DeForest this Saturday at 10:30 a.m. It's our sectionals meet. Please be there. Show up. Show up. Yeah. Have fun, be safe, and, and don't, don't eat, eat too, too much, much candy. candy. Oh.